Hey guys, George Soundtrax here. This week we're going to talk about a little known feature in our decoders known as switching mode. Now switching mode uses function 14, or if you're using the blue NAMI, the button that says switching mode down at the bottom. Now we're going to talk about what it is and how it works, and then how you can set up the adjustments for your own personal tastes. So let's get started. Now the first question is, what of course is switching mode? Now switching mode is a way that you can have your locomotive for switching purposes. Things like spotting cars at industry or moving cars back and forth in the yard and sorting cars and also to give you that slow speed operation. Now our decoders, whether it be a Blue Nami or a Tsunami 2, have switching mode enabled and function 14 does two things. First of which, it does what's called a momentum override. And basically what it does is it takes our momentum from whatever settings you have in your locomotive to zero. And that allows you that instant start and stop. So if you're spotting cars at a particular industry or against a particular uh, door or loading dock or whatever the case is, you can get that instant stop when you need it. The other thing is that it also takes the commanded speed step and cuts it into one half. So if you were running, say, at speed step five, and then you enable switching mode, not only will your momentum go away by default, but it will also take your speed step five and basically run it at speed step 2.5. Now, if we do the math, we could be running at speed step one and enable function 14 or the switcher mode here on our Blue Nami app, and we can actually be moving along at speed step one half. And yes, it is very slow. So to do this right now, we're going to go ahead and test run with our locomotive. So right now we have the sound off and we're just going to kind of show you what that is. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the locomotive up running at about speed step five. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see that the locomotive is moving along at a pretty steady clip. But once I enable switching mode, we hit the button now. You can see that it instantly slowed to now about speed step two and a half. Now as I decrease my throttle, it's actually decreasing it by about half speed steps. So we're going to bring it to a stop. We still have switcher mode on, so when I go to speed step one, you can actually see how slow that locomotive is moving. Which if you can't see how slow it's moving, that's how slow it's moving. When I take switcher mode off, I simply unpress the button, and now you can see that it speeds back up. So what good is this? Well, let's say we like momentum to simulate our trains. We want to have some momentum so that we have our dynamic digital exhaust with time to react. Uh, we also want to simulate running the real train. So here on our app right now, I'm going to go ahead and go to my settings menu. I'm going to go to speed settings. And you see here on our screen that we have zero momentum. Now we're going to go ahead and type in just some nominal values. So we're going to go ahead and set this to an acceleration rate of 50 and a deceleration rate of 75. So now, when I go back and run my locomotive, we're gonna go ahead and go to speed step five again. You can see that it doesn't instantly jump. Same thing when I cut the throttle, you can see that it takes a second or so for it to come to a stop. Now, doing this, we're gonna go ahead and change directions. And we're gonna go ahead and go up to about speed step 10. Now when I do this, I'm going to enable switcher mode, and you can see that it instantly slows, but now I have that instant start and stop that I had before, but now the momentum is bypassed. So now when I turn off switcher mode, I'm going to change direction again, I'm going to crank my throttle up, and you notice that it doesn't take off running down the track. Now again, this is how switcher mode can work for you. And again, it is simply designed to allow you to spot your cars at industry, pick up cars at the yard and things like that. Now the way this works, there's actually two factors that are mapped to function 14. And as I mentioned, they are the momentum override. And the momentum override can be reassigned or disabled if you so choose and taken out of the function mapping, or you can reassign it to a separate button key so that that way you can override the momentum without going into switcher mode. The other half of that is of course half speed, and so it takes the function command, or the throttle command, and sets it to about half speed. So like I said, we could be running at speed step 10, we enable switcher mode, and it goes into speed step five. And the two working together gives you what's known as switcher mode. Now using the CVs and the app 
in the Blue Nami or the CVs in the Tsunami 2 allow you to be able to remap this and move this and adjust it however you like. Now for more information, please visit our website at Soundtracks.com. Be sure to check out the user's guide and start with Chapter 1, which explains what switching mode is and all the other cool features that are built into the Tsunami 2 and the Blue Nami, so that that way you can run the railroad the way you want to. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click that like and subscribe buttons and we'll see you next time.